learned the mitzvah of Kibbut Aveim from a guy. Right? What was his name? Dummy what? Dumb and Ben? Okay, you know why he was called Dummy, for short. Right? Why? Because we had to learn to see what happens when you have proper Kibbut Aveim, that he lost the sale, right? Because he didn't want to wake his father up, and then he got a paraduma and he made much more money. So why did you pick a Jewish kid? Because the answer is that if a Jewish kid would not wake up his father to make money, that's not Kibbut Aveim, the father would kill him. So that never happened. So therefore, we only found up as a, a guy, dumb, a dummy, that would, that would not wake up my father because my, you know, my father's sleeping, I ain't gonna wake him up. You know, he's like, <laughs> so you gotta be pretty dumb to do that. And then what well, we see the result of that, which we couldn't have learned from any normal person. And that's why his short name is Dummy. Even regular healthy kids, the chutzpah that comes out of their mouths. I see parents here, they bring their kids who are on the derech to meet me, and to, we try to speak to them. We try to tell them, mommy and tati want to do this derech, and they say, I'm not listening to them. And they talk, chutzpah, you're not, api Allah, you're the from one? You're not allowed to say that, you're not allowed to say no. You're not allowed to challenge your parents, you're not allowed to say, I don't care, it's not my problem, it's your problem. You're not allowed to talk like that. The whole, the whole keep it up aim for the from, a lot of from kids, I'm not saying everybody, my kids are angels, you know, out the window, out the window. But my kids also, great kids. Sometimes they'll say things to me and I would just say like, freeze. And I would say like, I can't believe you just said that. And they're like, no, I didn't mean that. I'm like, no, 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 it's not you. It's the dar. I said, I can't, can you imagine me saying this to my father? Can you imagine, I, I can't even imagine saying the words and my kids are already like, no, 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 but it's not what I meant. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't take it personally. It's not you. It's the whole generation. You're the, you're, my kids are the best that there are. But this is pretty much the best that there is in our dar. Because there used to be a time where if your father said something, you listened. If he, if, if he looked at you, you stopped. Right? I always say this, right? You walk, you walk in, I remember, I was a kid. So I grew up in Queens. So what did we have in Queens? We had a lot of stuff. <laughs> you don't know what we had in Queens. We had a Jewish press. Right? So I walked into the dining room to the Shabbos table with a Jewish press. My father gave me a look. What happens when you got a look? One thing. You freeze. Right? First thing you do is you freeze. And then you, you do what's called you take stock. You think, what did I just do recently? And then you slowly reverse it. Right? This doesn't take... This is not brain surgery here, right? It's not like a scientist. I was eight or nine or 10 years old and I figured it out pretty quickly. So I got the look, right? I got the look and I went like this. I backed up and I went to the den with the Jewish press. Very simple, Re rewind the tape and undo what you were doing. Try that now. Your kid comes into the table and does something or says something or whatever it is, you go ahead and you go like this. Nothing happening. You are and I don't get it. I've been practicing this in the mirror all day. This, this is looking. This is my father did this. And then the kid says, Dad, what's wrong with your eyes? Nothing. Zilch. Zip. No idea. No idea.